Hi everyone, are you ready for another watercolor project? A little bit different this time again. Uh, I hope you'll join me. It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. You know me, I love abstract. I love a little bit of grunge. Uh, I love things which are not uh, necessarily super perfect and very uh, visible, very easy to recognize. But today I decided to go uh, with something different I also love. Uh, it's a doodling. So I decided to make a series of kind of a pots or trees or whatever you want to call it and doodle a little bit. I am using my Canson uh, XL cold press 300 grams uh, fine grain uh, watercolor paper. I think I would like very much to buy myself a cotton paper because I heard it's very good for watercolors. But for now, I, that's what I have. That's the best paper actually I have, which I know it's not a very watercolor professional, but uh, you know, I'm not a professional, so <laughs> I uh, deal with what I have. And uh, those are few um, watercolor brushes. I made a review a few movies ago about those brushes. And for now, I'm trying to use them to see if they work very well or just well or <laughs> how how exactly do they work and uh, i am using my um, one of my favorite watercolors uh, those are uh, gansai tambi watercolors and they are really really nice i love the colors they are super rich and super nice and for this first pot or tree let's call it the tree for this uh, video i decided to do a wet on dry so my paper is dry and my brush was wet with the paint but um, I thought that it's a little bit boring, <laughs> to be honest. I thought it's uh, the paint goes very nicely on the paper, but it's not granulating, there is no effects. So I decided to go ahead and for the next trees use wet on wet technique. I am changing my paints a lot. I think there is not one tree which is uh, the same as the other on the page. But I kind of work with these uh, purples and blues and dark blues and uh, I wanted to just stay in this kind of a, a bluish color palette. There is also one thing which is quite important to me. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but when I uh, open my watercolors, I had this plastic cover which came with watercolors, which I actually use like a palette. And so for this project, and quite often, uh, anyway, I use the palette. I don't uh, use only the, uh, the proper color which comes from the pen uh, because I think um, you can make your own colors. You can have more uh, control again. And um, watercolors, I think, are a lot about control. And by putting them first on the palette and maybe even mixing them with some other colors or just simply adding a different amount of water, you will get the colors already which are different than what you have uh, in the box, but also which can be a little bit more muted. And here I wanted to go uh, with kind of um, colors which goes to the earthy tone a little bit. So they are, uh, they are addition of black uh, on this color. I add a little bit of black, not to all of those uh, trees, but to some of them. And uh, I found like um, even a small addition of black makes it a little bit, you know, less bright and less like striking and more muted and more uh, like earthy looking color. As you can see right now, I am actually removing a little bit of uh, excess of the color I had there, which kind of ran the paper was a little, uh, you know, all upsided, I think, and it just ran and stuck in one place. I didn't want the big like blob of very, very um, dark paint there. So for that, I'm using only uh, water, a uh, brush dipped in water and then a tissue. You haven't seen the tissue because it's off the camera, but uh, just a normal tissue. And then I am cleaning the um, brush with it. And uh, as you can see in the left uh, corner and right now here, I add some trees which like overlapping the other. I didn't bother that, you know, I didn't wait too long, uh, but I still waited a tiny bit that the uh, first layer dries a little or at least a little 
before I put the second layer. I know that watercolors anyway will react with each other, but you know, the fact that it's already dry, it will prevent from, uh, you know, me having too much water to deal with and the water going everywhere and the colors completely mixing uh, with each other. I did notice lately that you uh, like very much watercolor projects. I'm wondering if this one is up your alley also, if you really like it or not so much. Please leave me a comment, I'll be so happy to know. Um, and as promised, I'm gonna make another video with the bubbles. I have to just, uh, I think, uh, work a little bit on that or at least prepare, you know, on the paper, the steps or the, you know, what I'm gonna do. Uh, because uh, I know that uh, some of you tried and they didn't got any success. And I am not sure why is that, what's happening, if there is some really method to this <laughs> bubble madness or was I just lucky because as I said in the video, uh, I did it only once. That was the first time, the video time when I did it and it works for me. So I am wondering if there is some secret to it. And so I would like to try that again, uh, try maybe different techniques, maybe different soaps or whatever, and just uh, go ahead and do it. But uh, today I felt like uh, doodling a little bit and I really wanted to make the trees. And if you know me a little bit, uh, you know I like doodling and you know that I have some uh, doodle trees already, even the ones I am selling in my shop, um, in the book, you know, I design. So yes, I love doing that. And the watercolors are so beautiful to work with. And this is also my dream to learn uh, how to tame the watercolors, how to learn them, how to, you know, be good at, at that because I find them, they are really, really nice. And there is uh, gonna be a video quite soon, I hope. I'm waiting for a special delivery. And I cannot wait with beautiful watercolors, which I want to show you guys and I want to try them because I never had it and and I decided to to buy small samples because uh, they are quite expensive, but I just wanted to, to buy and try. So I hope you're gonna uh, stay with me, stay in my channel and, uh, you know, and have some uh, fun with me and try to do things as well along because that's all that what is all about i am so happy when i'm here reading your comments when you are saying oh i'm going to my studio oh I, you gave me some inspiration oh i'm so uh, happy because i know now what to do with this product so this is for me so very much so so important and i am so grateful uh, that you are leaving the comments and um i'm gonna leave you now quietly because <laughs> I'm a little bit sick. I don't know if you've noticed, but my uh, voice is a little uh, raspy, I think. I'm not sure if that's a good word, but uh, I cannot speak too much. Uh, it's just breaking uh, uh, my voice and um, it's not that pleasant. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with the music and I'm going to join you probably somewhere uh, near the end, uh, a little bit uh, talking to you a little bit about doodling. And uh, this uh, movie normally will have the chapters. So if you want to skip a part of it, just go ahead and skip it, but I'll be very happy if you watch till the end. So uh, the project is dry. It looks so nice. It looks almost, I don't know exactly how the granulating effect looks like, but I feel like in some places there is uh, some granulating effect, especially I heard that with the uh, blues that happens quite often. Uh, and so when everything is dry now, I am going to my doodles. So my idea is to make a uh, trees. Okay. Some of you may say they are more like pots or... Uh, they 
resemble nothing at all, but for me they are kind of a trees. And I'm using Tudor. I'm using um, my Unipin fine liner. This one is 03 point. And it's quite hard to doodle on the watercolor paper. At least this paper is a fine grain, so it's much easier, I assume, than it would have been on drawing on the uh, like a coarse grain or I don't know what's the, what's the other name of the watercolor paper. I have to learn so many things still. But, uh, you know, it's not only watercolor, which I love. I love also art journaling and using different uh, mediums, different paints and powders and things like that. So there is too many things to learn and too little time. So I'm doing my best. Bear with me, please. And I am always happy with, uh, you know, any advices you can give me. And uh, so, yes... That's all what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. I don't even see a special uh, things in the um, in those um, bubbles of paint or not bubbles, really the, the you know the pots of paint. I'll just try to cover some parts of it which uh, I don't mind covering and leave uh, open the, or visible more the parts uh, of the tree which I actually like quite a lot. And once again, I'm going to leave you with some music. I'm trying to please everybody I hear or I read in my comments that some of you loves the music, some of you do not like the music, some of you even like me talking, which for me is still so strange. I feel so grateful for uh, comments like that, but I know I'm making uh, so many mistakes in uh, English. <laughs> because it's not my native language simply and so when you're telling me that you are listening you're like listening uh, to me when i'm talking i'm so always surprised and grateful but here is the music for those of you who like to listen By the way, for doodling, I was taking the ideas from my old uh, doodling uh, pages. <laughs> so I look at them and I try to change them uh, because still not very easy to doodle for me. Sometimes I am just really short on ideas. So things like that, you know, your old doodles uh, are always comes in handy and you it's enough that you change a little bit and uh, it's completely a different doodle, maybe way better than the previous one. So that's what I like to do. Just have some inspiration and, uh, you know, have uh, my old doodles at hand and just look at them from time to time when I don't know what to do and when I'm completely stuck. As you can see, I decided to add some doodling without paint, 
which I think added a little bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, a little bit more interest to, to the page. And right now I am adding small accents with the uh, Unisino um, gold pen, yes, golden pen. Uh, I was thinking actually for this project, even though I love gold on the uh, on the uh, watercolors, I was thinking to use um, a silver pen. Then I realized I do not have any silver pen, so I said to myself, "It must be, you know, it must be a sign that I actually have to use the gold one." So I'm adding a small and golden accents, and that would be the actual last part of the whole. Uh, painting with watercolors and doodling. I hope you enjoy this process. It's very easy really guys and um, for all of you who, who are afraid to use watercolors uh, it's a really nice um, exercise I think to get to know your watercolors a little bit uh, better and the doodling is so simple also so you can make a really nice funny pages and uh, I am wondering what kind of projects would you like me to do? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm wondering if that is really something you enjoyed, if you like my <laughs> funky trees. And as always, thank you so very much for watching, commenting and of course subscribing. That brings me so much pleasure to know that uh, what I do actually um, makes sense, simply. Uh, I will also leave you a link to my shop in the description box. Um, in three days time, I think, I'm gonna have some new stamps there. But uh, in the meantime, uh, you can have a look at the collection of my other products and also with Digi products. Um, I am collecting um, digital graphics to use as a focal points and um, I'm buying them, putting them together, changing them a little so they are um, free for commercial use later on. And um, yes, I hope this is something you uh, you like. Uh, just check them out, out of curiosity. And uh, I really do hope you're gonna um, stay with my channel and join me in my next video. Uh, meanwhile, I'm sending you big, big hugs and I wish you a beautiful, sunny day. See you soon. Bye bye.